Uh, right, and I'm, I'm not sure what has happened in the ladies section because here uh, uh, also, I mean, a lot of favorites did not manage to win. So now yeah, it's Gunina on table first one. First two boards they made draw, and Gunina board three she managed to win with black pieces with Kramlink Pia. Uh, right. Well, we start as per usual with the game of Magnus Carlsen where. A ready opening was played by Sanan Sugirov, starting with one knight f3. And this way, Magnus manages to play e5 and grab the center as early as on move 3. d3, d5. Well, and I think I know this system. So the knight will be developed on e7, right after castle short. It's knight to e7, mm -hmm. yeah, then short castle. Yeah, knight to e7, then short castle for black. He's ready to support his center in case of c4. Uh, black just plays c6 usually. I mean, maybe, maybe yeah. if the immediate c4 Compared he can also to, take. Compared uh, to the rapids, uh, I can see that Carlson choose more active openings. Yeah, yeah. Well, definitely more aggressive, more tricky ones. And this way, well, I'm not sure about knight c3 because I thought uh, White's idea was to take on d5 immediately and then to to enter a pirk line with g3 once again with colors reversed mm -hmm. so it would be like white white plague the pir the pirk defense uh, and has a tempo up maybe knight c3 is still fine so he, he's trying to uh, sugirov he's trying to get some sort of you know king's indian setups so yeah. now d4 for instance knight goes to e2 magnus still can try to keep the tension in the center by moves like c6 yeah. Uh, he's taken uh, time and he takes on e4. He takes on e4. And this Which is, is really strange. This is somewhat strange because after pawn takes, pawn takes, look at this knight on e7. It's, it's not really moving. It's not really moving. It will take him an awful lot of time to put this knight into place somewhere. Mm -hmm. It's like bishop e3, a decent move. And also this pawn structure, it's... It's not really promising for the result. You mean in terms I of, in terms of uh, yeah, complications? Yes. F6, yeah, F6 is fine, so restricting the F3 knight, but, but I still don't like the knight on E7 at all. It's like either he wants a, uh, to, to go G5 on the next move and put the knight on G6, maybe that's the, maybe that's the way. Queen E2, bishop to E6, that's fine. And then white's supposed to play some A4, I guess. Knight from F3 goes to D4 and C4. Uh, to d2 and c4, rook d1 attacking the queen. Well, that's a bit surprising because I actually thought that white's main prospects are on the queen side. So I would probably play the other rook to d1. Would probably play the other rook to d1 and keep the rook on a1 just in case white will start moving the queen side pawns. A4. Yeah. And the next move wouldn't he goes for E4. This yeah, is wouldn't, be, really wouldn't be it uh, more logical to have the other rook on D1? That's mm -hmm. what I'm asking. A4, Magnus decided to ignore the A5 threat. Well, positional threat of A5, A5 played. And now you can feel the knight on E7 is not that great. Well, and the move Magnus ended up playing, I also don't like. What's knight C8? Queen e7. Queen 7 wants to go knight d6. Yeah, tries to put it on d6 and finally f7. Actually, the knight mm -hmm. on f7 in this uh, setup makes a lot of sense. But white can try to play queen d2 now. Queen d2 trying to, you know, to stop knight d6 at least. Knight to a4. So he allows knight, knight d6, but, but he'll, play, he'll play knight c5 in this case. Knight a4. Well, white is better. What can I say? b5, a takes, a takes. Okay, but now b6 pawn is kind of hanging. C4, C4 which is which is a good move. Uh, the pawn, pawn yeah, the b5 side. is no longer well. B5 is possible actually because if uh, white takes on b5, black will take on b3. I mean, it, it's very, very once again very sharp. It, it's not like a straightforward. Maybe he will go for that. Maybe he will end up going for this because need some. Uh, oh well, I mean he, he can play. Position. Yeah, he can play some. You know, some move like rook b8, simply protecting the b6 pawn. Uh, black is still solid, but uh, I'm afraid he might end up being, you know, worse. And what is, what is wor worrisome? I mean, you don't mind worse positions in blitz. I mean, as long as you have some plan, some active contemplate, which he doesn't seemingly. 
So now uh, B5 B5 is seems more comfortable. Yeah, B5 in this position. is definitely an option, but. White has bishop d2 move. Uh, bishop d2 is there, but also some some knight b2. You know, just not to react at all. Then rook comes rook, on a2. Rook a2, yes, but how hard to say once again. Because now since the no, queen rook left, f7. yeah, look, well, since the queen left, uh, the knight was not protected on d7 as well. Queen to e7. I don't e7. really understand of the rook f7 move. To free the square on f8 for the, for the bishop, that's what he does. Right. Yeah, bishop f8, and now once again, I mean, maybe queen e8 and, and bishop 2. Well, it's still very passive position. What can I say? Mm -hmm. Very, very passive position. Carlson is down Carson. to 40 seconds. Queen e8, rook fd1. Sanan is playing very logical moves without, you know, much of a hesitation. Both down to less H4. than one minute. <laughs> H4, yeah, with potential idea to go king h2 and bishop h3 to swap the light square bishop, which makes black's life even harder. H5 was stopped. Yeah, H4, H5. H5. Well, well it's, it's like the first reaction, right? Mm -hmm. Your opponent plays H4, you go H5. Knight back to c3. Um. Magnus wants to play with the knight, but no, he king goes H7, for king h7. King h7, queen d2, now the knight on d7 is hanging. Knight c5, uh, well, it's rook not d8 that comfortable because there is rook d8, rook no, b7. No, he goes for rook b7. I know, Passive the knight defense. was not hanging, but, but it's still, yeah, it's still not comfortable. Yeah, I don't, I don't really like Magnus's position now. King h2, bishop h3 is always an idea. Knight 91. to e1 to bring it all the way to, no, no, c2 and... Let's see what happens. Bishop e7. But once again, the feeling is like the game will be decided when they will both have like five, you know, five seconds and all mm -hmm. the blunders will follow. Now, for instance, yeah, bishop. Yeah, that's a very important. That's a huge improvement of Magnus's position. Yeah, but he was. Uh, White was to force this knight. White was forced, yeah. So apparently he kind of missed this uh, bishop e7's idea to go to c5 because now all of a sudden black's position improved great deal. He has his uh, dear. Pure bishops, yeah. which he loves yeah, which to he have. Loves to have exactly. And also, white played f4, h4. F5 though oh. is tricky. Hmm. Well, now h5. What happens pawn now? I don't, I don't quite understand because yeah, the bishop on e6 is hanging. You cannot take on f5. You cannot take on f5. I, I think Magnus just blundered this one altogether. He takes on f5, and what gives the piece away? Now he's. He's kind of completely lost. He's kind of completely lost. A piece down. And Sugirov has the time. Sugirov has the time. And he's Another winning material. He's winning more material. He's winning more material. He can take on d7. He can take on d7. It's a terrible play by Magnus Carlsen. A rook down. A rook down. And well, White decides to take on d4. What is which this? Is, which is a little bit strange decision, but still, I mean he is the whole piece up. King is safe. It's oh, completely winning for Sanan Sugirov. Pounds. Completely winning for Sanan Sugiro. Just he has to calm down a bit. The try to swap the queens. Tries to swap the queens. Queen g6. Now, but knight b5 wins more material. There is queen f2. He wants to be safe. Knight e4, knight takes. Rook d1. Well, some material won back. And Sanan is uh, also very sure on time. Now, rook c2 is a threat. Knight d4. Well, I mean, no, no, now it's uh, nothing is clear. Nothing is clear. I mean, White is object. Uh, of course, objectively, White is completely winning. But yes. you know, you know, you still have to have to win. And uh, White is short on time. It is short on time, but uh, yeah, let's see how it works now. Because Magnus only has the rook, but he managed to par paralyze those knights. Managed to paralyze those knights. But pawns are ah, going no, to the, the pawn is, Now the pawn is going all the way to c6, right? c5 takes, takes. In case of rook a5, there is knight b3. Well, knight e6 was a serious option. But knight b3 is good as well. That, and then attack the pawn. C, well, why doesn't want to, to do, to, to play c6? Yeah, c6. Rook to a4. And then the king is coming. There is still a defensive idea for Magnus, like to eliminate all the pawns at the cost of a rook, right? So right. two knights are not winning. Yeah, can That's win. being the point. But they are too many. Oh, we have the pawns are too many. Mm -hmm. So smooth victory, it seems, for Sanan Sugirov. Let's see if we have something else in play. 
Uh, could you check the results on the top boards? I think Swidler has finished. Uh, Swidler made the draw uh, against Anton Demchenko. Also, we have uh, a draft